Holy crap, we're already getting pearl changes. I was just about to head to bed when I saw that Mike from Valorleaks on Twitter leaked these new pearl changes that Riot is going to be implementing, I assume. I'm not really an updates channel, but this was too exciting to cover. And I'm going to be giving my thoughts on this in a sort of analytic kind of way as well. So let's get into it. So from the Valorleaks tweet, we can see that Riot is looking to implement nine changes across pearl. Two in A main, one in A art, one top mid, two in B link, two in mid shops, and one in B long. Let's have a look at what all of those are. Okay, so the first change that we have here is they're actually just tightening this little choke point here into a site. You can see it's just a bit skinnier with, so I think taking this general approach is gonna be a good thing for the map. Coming into top mid, we're getting rid of this little nook here, and I think this is a, a piece of the map that just was sort of not really used at all. You'd really hardly find anyone ever lurking through there. Or if they were, it's so unexpected that anyone would be playing there. So I like this change overall. I think it's just, it was just a piece of the map that no one was really utilizing except for those Omega rats. Down into the entrance to art, there's actually two changes here. We actually are removing the box and the little box here as well, making the entry into art a lot smoother and more open. Art uh, was one of the hardest places to access. There's still that box in the middle of art, which can be super hard to play around. Um, so this is going to make a splits even more enjoyable to do as attackers. Next thing that we have is mid shops. We're going to be extending this platform. This is just another underutilized area. It's kind of weird having this little rat spot here that you could hide in. This is, you know, you can still hide in this corner here, but this just cleans up this whole area and makes it feel a lot less clunky without removing too much rattiness. Uh, and then one of the ultimate rat spots that was always so easy to abuse. I abuse this in so many ranked games who will just try and push mid to flank B and you would just hide in this corner. That's a little bit harder now. You can't hide right tucked in the corner. You can you still have a little bit of cover to play with on this left side, but you don't get to tuck right in. I think this is a nice flowing change for the map overall. Getting rid of this box in B link, Still the, a small box there, so you can play with adjusting um, your head level to throw off your opponent's crosshair angles and give yourself a little bit of advantage trying to hold door. So often you'd be able to catch attackers rotating through connector. It's such a pain in the ass to have to come. Like it would take so long and it's so risky to come out and clear this box where you could be getting pushed from the attackers lower down in B link or B site. And for the attacker sitting here, you could just swing at any point and shoot someone in the back. So I like this change overall. Also changing this spot here, this box is changing to the other side, which reduces the angles clearing down to the bottom of B-Link by one. Uh, I like this change overall. This is really, really nice. Just makes B-Link a lot more accessible to attack through. There was obviously, it's obviously one of the hardest places to attack. There's just so many angles that you're getting um, swung from. So taking this one out is really, really nice. And then not, nah, and then lastly, we have the B long half wall that's getting dropped just by a little bit. And this is so that you can't hide behind it. And I think this brings parity to all the agents due to the slight model differences in a bunch of the agents. For example, Sage's ponytail peeks out above the wall, but I think chamber, you could hide completely below the wall or behind the wall. If you like look straight down, so this makes sure that there's equality amongst all of the agents wanting to try to play here. So there we go. That's all the changes. The map might look something like this now. Um, this is what it used to look like. And this is what it might look like now. This is just a very rough sketch that I did up with all of the changes. Lots of changes to this sort of mid B link area. And minor changes towards A. And I think that makes sense. I think the A site and entrances into A, this whole half of the map is really well designed. And I think this half of the map needed a little bit of love. It's going to be a little bit more user-friendly to play. There might be some more changes in the future. Let me know what you think. If you like the changes, I'm certainly a fan and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. One thing that I potentially would like to see in B long would be lowering this platform here in long to make this like a platform that you could get up onto with a vertical agent such as a jet or maybe placing a chamber trip up there or something like that allow or raise satchel so that that gives you a little bit more to play with from holding this um b mid spot because 
The only real agent that can like solo play here is Chamber because he can TP out. Um, it's really hard to play any other agent there at the moment. Cool. 